Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube channel, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. I am traveling the world with my wife, Oman, and my three beautiful daughters, Jolie, Juna, and Jessa, already for four years now after going all into Bitcoin. We don't own bank accounts, we solely live on crypto, and we travel the world. Coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal beautiful country we came here like six weeks ago the family is really enjoying it but we are really doubting on what to do next are we going to rent a house outside the city center where it's a little bit more relaxed or are we going to rent a house near the city center where the kids can move a little bit more independent the oldest one is 15 the second one is 13 and the youngest one is 10 years old and they want to be independent they want to be able you know to walk into town to uh, buy some drinks at a supermarket or something you know they, they, need, they need to be able to move you know they they are growing up to become very independent young women that need their space so we need to give them the space but on the other hand we also you know we want to take a step back to see what is happening with this whole crazy situation that is going on in the world so maybe a beautiful house just outside of the city center would be the perfect combination hopefully guys you found the family tokens I hit three QR codes on the family uh, on the bitcoinfamily.com website and if you found those QR codes scan them you got family tokens um, it is Saturday morning and I think all of them were already already claimed so I will delete the current QR codes and I will add one more new QR code a very difficult one to find on the website but that one will give you 50 family tokens so there's only one QR code and only one person can find it and the one that finds it gets 50 family tokens today on this beautiful Saturday and today I decided um, to walk out of the house without my flip-flops uh, because I thought yeah I'm, I'm walking to the beach but I just forgot that there is like a small part with some stones I know a family that already walks the world for six years barefooted cold or at warm countries so don't be a pussy <laughs> Easy part. This is better. This is better. Way better. Ah. ah, the sand feels so amazing. Oh, I love beaches. I love the sea. I need to have a house near the city center, near the beach, and so also near the sea. <laughs> it needs to have three bedrooms or four, a nice living room, and a huge balcony or garden. Let me know if you know any beautiful place here in Portugal. I don't have my wife or one of my daughters with me today so that was the family part let's jump into the Bitcoin charts because I really want to keep this short today I need to have some beautiful beach time sun time and I need to do some shopping with the kids and the family because we have still one huge bag with all our long clothes like the winter clothes and that bag is in Bulgaria it is at blockchain valley and these guys can't send the bag at the moment because no, you are not allowed to send luggage by DHL or any other shipment company so all our winter clothes like leggings for the girls and my jeans and everything it's all in Bulgaria and in the evening it's getting chilly so we need those bags from Bulgaria uh, but they are not able to send them if you know any creative way of getting our bags from Bulgaria to Portugal man you we you would be really helpful and I'm prepared to pay you and some family tokens guys if you find and figure out the way for me to transport my bags from Bulgaria to Portugal I will reward you and you will be happy with the reward I will be giving you so help me <laughs> help the family <laughs> but let's take it to the next part in the video guys the Bitcoin part this one BAM in this part guys I bomb you with Bitcoin charts and other cryptocurrency charts but mainly Bitcoin because I love to analyze these Bitcoin charts today keeping it short because I want you guys to zoom out in crypto and these two charts will help you with zooming out this chart guys is created by plan B this is what we call the RSI chart this one BAM on this RSI chart if you look to the left to the history of the chart you can see what happened in 2013 we had some red dots and then when the red dots started the RSI went up hugely to almost 90 where you topped out with the red dots and then we got some yellow dots also almost as high as these red dots and that was the peak in the bull run of 2013 
And then when you look a little bit less to the left, you can see what happened in 2017. Again, you can see on this RSI chart that these dots went from red to yellow and they peaked on this red dot. So that was the all time high of 20K we saw last year. And now look to today. What do you see in the dots? Indeed, we already formed five red dots and you can see the RSI is climbing again. We are now hovering around the 60 and we are going to go for the 90 in RSI. And when we arrive at this level of 90 in RSI, you can see what happened in 2017 and 13 when we reached that top level in the RSI. That was exactly when we saw this all time high in the Bitcoin prices. So the RSI is pointing up. We are going to see another red dot higher than the current one. Every red dot is a month. So I think the next couple of months we will go higher, higher and higher. And we will see a new all time high in the next 12 months somewhere guys. So in my opinion, definitely going to see a new all time high in the next couple of months. I'm not saying one or two months. It can only, it can also be six or seven months, but we are going to see a new all time high. And that is exactly what also this chart is showing you. This one, bam. This chart guys is showing you the 200 weekly moving average. That is this black line on the chart. The 200 weekly moving average is a very important line when it comes to the bull run. As you can see on the left in the chart, you can see that when we started to move away from the 200 weekly moving average, we could see this huge bull run in Bitcoin. At the moment we tested this 200 weekly moving average twice during this correction period. So now, now we are slowly going away, moving away from this 200 weekly moving average. As you can see in the previous bull run, this means we are going to go up and Bitcoin price is also going to go up. As you can also see in the dots guys, we can see that we are coloring from blue to light blue. Then we will go into green and then we will go into red. Just like we did in this previous bull run. And you can see what happened when we went into this red area. This is exactly the all time high area. So at the moment, the 200 weekly moving average is growing with 4% a month. So this line is getting higher and higher. Now around 6,936 and it grows with 4% every month. So soon this line will be above 7,000 and then 8,000 and then that level we won't cross below that level again. So I don't see us falling back to 3K or 1K or any of these other low numbers that many of the TAs that are analyzing the Elliott waves are telling us. Some of them are telling us we can even go as low as 3K or 1K again. I'm not a believer of this, but the Elliott waves, it depends on how you calculate them. And some people have calculated these Elliott waves and telling us now we are going to see 3K or 1K. This would not be able if we keep moving above this 200 weekly moving average like we have been doing since the beginning of Bitcoin. So in my opinion, these plan B charts are showing us the correct path that Bitcoin is going to walk up to the moon in the next couple of 12 to 18 months. That were all the charts for this beautiful Saturday guys. I'm going to jump now into the blockchain slash news part. This one, bam. I'm going to start with telling you guys that Russia just announced that they are going to test a central bank's digital currency somewhere in the end of 2021. Russia also stated, no, we are not in a hurry. We want to carefully test the central bank's digital currency. So that would be a digital ruble and they are going to launch it somewhere at the end of 2021. So that's a year from here. Another country that is exploring a central bank's digital currency is Japan. They said, oh no, we cannot stay behind on China. We want to have a central bank's digital currency as well, but we are going to ask the opinion of the people because we need to include the people in this decision. They don't want to get rid of physical cash in Japan, but they want to create an alternative that other people can use as well, a central bank's digital currency. And then of course the next step in my opinion will be that they slowly get rid of cash. But you know, you need to have people following their own pace into this new world of cryptocurrency. Just like we were patients in letting people getting used to plastic credit cards. You know, my grandma didn't like a plastic card at first. She wanted to go into the bank. You want to sign in a check or something and then claim her money. And then suddenly she needed to change her mentality to go into an ATM machine with this plastic chart. It took her 10 years to understand and get used to these plastic cards. And now it will take another 10 years for people to understand 
and starting to use Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies. We won't be able to push people into like adopting something. They will only start to use it when they really need it. We have seen this happening many more times in history. Most of us, like 90%, is not leading but is following. And these followers will only follow when everything is completely safe and when they don't have any other options. So in my opinion, again, the first step will be that all these central banks worldwide will create central banks, digital currencies, the digital yuan, the digital yen, the digital dollar, the digital euro, you know, all these digital currencies will be created. Step two, guys, will be that cash is going to disappear. We only have about 8% physical cash money in the world at the moment. This is going to be brought to zero in the next couple of years. And then when the cash money completely has disappeared, then step three will start. And step three will be that the people are in the need of an alternative to the central bank's digital cryptocurrencies, the very centralized ones, because then people realize, oh my God, we don't have cash anymore. So how do I buy my joint? Or how do I buy all that stuff that I want to keep private? That won't be possible if we don't have physical cash anymore. Then they will understand the alternative of Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies. And only then people will be ready to start to use these decentralized versions of the centralized cryptocurrencies created by their banks. And that will be Bitcoin and many other cryptos probably in the future. So people will follow those three of steps. They don't want to lead, they want to follow. And when they are in need of an alternative, then they will start to use the alternative. At the moment, people are not in need. They still have physical cash that they can use to spend on stuff that they want to keep private. But how long is this going to take? I don't think that in five years time, we still will have cash money on this beautiful earth. I think all the money will be digital in the next couple of years. And by the way, <laughs> did you read the news about this XRP guy? I think he was on the board of XRP and he got arrested for cyber stalking. As if that is strange. You know, the most of these XRP army guys are cyber stalking everybody. You know, they are pushing XRP into everybody's throats while it's one of the most centralized forms of cryptocurrency out there. And they could be, you know, very nice creating projects for the banks and all that stuff and helping create solutions for the banks, KYC solutions. But guys, that is not the goal of cryptocurrency. The goal of cryptocurrency should be that everybody can onboard it. And people can only onboard it if there are no rules to onboard it, like KYC. How do you think my nephew on the Moroccan Islands, not owning a bank account because he can't even KYC, they don't even have an address, how can they step into this crypto world if they need to do a KYC? Not possible. So for me, all these projects with KYC, beautiful step in between, but it's not the goal of crypto. The goal of Bitcoin was peer-to-peer -peer cash that is usable and reachable for everyone and can't be confiscated by any centralized organization. It really made me laugh to read now that this XRP guy is arrested for cyber stalking. That's really crazy. That's why I don't buy XRP. And guys, if you want to trade on a really cool exchange, check out Prime XBT. Use my referral link because by using my referral link, you receive a 50% deposit bonus which can lead up to a huge number of bonus, guys. So if you deposit $100 worth of Bitcoin, you get $50 extra if you use my referral link. So go to the comments, check the pinned comment, and in this pinned comment, you see a link to Prime XBT. Click this link, sign up to the exchange, and then claim your 50% deposit bonus by using the code BitcoinFamily. Sign up to Prime XBT and experience a really cool exchange where you can also play the turbo game and you can start to copy trade other very experienced traders. And if you don't like Prime XBT, then uh, use one of the other links for Bybit or Judex. I think on Bybit, I have a $90 bonus for you guys. On Judex, the bonus can lead all the way up to 300 US dollar for your first deposit. So check those two out as well if you don't like the Prime XBT bonus. And to remember you guys, uh, all the referral links in my description of every video lead to profit for our family 
we will use a huge part of this profit to help poor people all over the world. Please use the referral links. That will lead to more profit. And the more profit, the more we can share with the poor people all over the world. That was everything for today, guys. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment as I love to reply to your comments. I want to thank you for watching today and please remember to always zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. Thanks for watching and see you Monday again because you know guys, Sunday is my family day and even tomorrow on Sunday you can join me in an Instagram live. I will share the link in all family channels on Telegram and Discord. 